that's the case, then I apologize. Of course it's the case. They all expect me to pack up and leave, just like Siobhan. But I own 35% of the Crystal Palace now. How can I just walk away without a second thought? What makes you think you have to? SoapNet makes watching all my children easy. The Martins. Once upon a time, widow Ruth Brent married dedicated doctor Joe Martin to form Pine Valley's first family. They raised one daughter, Tara, a handsome son, Dr. Jake, and adopted a son named Tad, the biological child of the outrageous Opal Cortland, whose good friend, the enchanting Erica Kane, made husbands of both the Martins' other two sons, Jeff Martin and Phil Brent. Watch same-day episodes of All My Children only on SoapNet. Soap watching made easy. Every day is a new story. Drama at its best. I get appalled by how people behave. No matter how bad your problems are, they ain't as bad as Maria's. Marshmallow Peeps candy is 50 years old, so we're blowing our horn. <laughs> Vote for America's favorite Easter basket at MarshmallowPeeps.com on April 14th. Part-time lipsticks need not apply. New overtime lip color. It's color stay. Non-stop color, foolproof color. And over-the-top shine in one tube. New overtime lip color. Only Revlon makes it. Only you make it unforgettable. I just dumped my phone company and switched to Vonage. Vonage has a flat rate, so you can call anybody, anytime, anywhere in the United States. With Vonage, I get email notification if there's a voicemail waiting for me. That works well if I'm on the phone. The call clarity is terrific. Vonage is new, and it's cool. I heard about Vonage from a friend. I like the service a lot. There's no long distance charges, and you get clear reception. Plus, it's great technology and a good way to save money. I call everywhere, all over the country, for one flat rate. We use Vonage for both our business and personal phones. In our business, we call our vendors in Asia and customers across the country. Since we have Vonage, we can call them anytime we want, and at the same low rate. The sound quality is the same as a regular phone and the price is even better. Call 1-877-4-VONAGE now to get unlimited nationwide calling for only $39.99 a month. Vonage, the broadband phone company. Hear what parents are saying about the most famous name in reading, Hooked on Phonics. You should have seen him the first time he had one of the Hooked on Phonics books. He was running through the house. He was celebrating. Look, look, wait a minute. Sit down. I want to read this book to you. Now with 28 easy-to-use computer games. See an improvement in your child's reading in four weeks or your money back. Order in the next 10 minutes and get this new Hooked on Phonics rolling backpack. Rugged, stylish, and spacious. Free with your paid order. Call 1-800-ABCDEFG. Well, I just figured I'm, I'm going to have to choose one or the other. I'm sorry if you feel that you're being forced into that position. It's really hard, Joe. The Ryans, the, the only family I've ever had. I, I think I could get along without me. No, they make me feel stupid sometimes, like a little girl. No matter what I, I ever do, I never seem to please them. But on the other hand, the Crystal Palace is practically... It's the most important part of my life. I, I, I'm mo at my best here. I'm most of myself. I don't know what I would have done without this place. You're as good for the Crystal Palace as it is for you. Do you really think so? Of course I do. It isn't Joe's Crystal Palace. It's Delia's Crystal Palace. It's your creation. You've invested a lot of time and effort as well as money, and you have every right to protect your investment. And just because you remain my business partner doesn't mean that you have to approve or agree with what I do outside my partnership, or that you're even a friend of mine. But I am your friend, Joe. No matter what the Ryans think, you've always been a friend to me, even when everyone else hated me, so I owe you that much, at least. That's not to say that I agree with what you did to Jack, but part of me can understand, because I've wanted to get back at people sometimes, like at Roger for what he did to me, or Jack for that matter. You know, I don't think that man said one nice word to me the whole time that we've known each other. 
So he's an orphan, big deal, so am I. That doesn't give you the right to be rude. Delia, is, is there a point to this? Yes. I know you're mad at Jack, and now you're mad at Siobhan, too, but... Are you angry with me? On the contrary. Good, because I'm not angry with you. I mean, I want you to know that even though I screamed a little when I first came in. I was just upset. That's I understand. I'm glad. Uh, the reason I'm here is I think that uh, we need to discuss how we're going to continue working together. Because what you did does change things. And we need to rethink some things that procedures we have taken for granted. Such as? Well, we need an understanding. <clears throat> For instance, if you're ever going to do anything like this again, you really have to warn me first. Well, Delia, I, I really I don't have any uh, plans for vengeance on a grand scale again anytime soon. But uh, if I do, you'll be the first to know. Thanks. The other thing's kind of hard to talk about without sounding morbid, but we're business people. We have to be prepared for anything. That makes sense. Um, I was just thinking that if you're involved with people like Alexi Bartova or if people like that are going to be hanging around here, maybe you should have an insurance policy or a will. I'm not connected with Alexi Bartova. Are you mad? No. Look, all I'm trying to say... Well, suppose something happened to you, were to happen to you, what would happen to the Crystal Palace? I mean, I'm sure you want it to go on in the tradition that everyone's come to expect, you know, a monument to, to your style. And yours. Well, yeah, I did create it to begin with, but you've done a lot, too. Like the Monte Carlo room. You wouldn't want our beautiful restaurant to, to fall in the hands of a, a stranger, would you? No, you got a point. I, I assume that you have someone in mind to take my place after I'm gone. Well, yeah. Because I would like to think that uh, I can count on you to take over the Crystal Palace. If something should happen to me. Of course you could. <laughs> I mean, what are friends for? Right. Glad we got that out of the way. I have some other business that's not so gloomy. The associate producer of The Proud and the Passionate just called in, and Barbara Wilde herself asked specifically if they could have their 23rd anniversary party here. She, she, um... Wanted me to make the arrangements. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? It certainly is. I'm sure you'll do a terrific job. Well, Barb and I have met a couple of times. We're practically old friends. Well, why don't you get started on the plans, then? I've got a meeting across town. Joe, I'm sure this party's going to be the start of a really, you know, wonderful fall and winter at the Crystal Palace. You won't even have time to be sad about Siobhan. How are you doing, sweetheart? About the same, I guess. Sad, angry, wondering how much all of this could be my fault. Was that presumptuous? I'm sorry. I know you don't have a lot of time. I'm trying to be as direct as possible. Go ahead. I just graduated from the Chicago School of Journalism. It took me five and a half years because I worked my way through. I want a chance to show what I can do. I know it's hard work, but I'm certainly not afraid of that. I already made a career out of just preparing to be a reporter. A good one. This is definitely a riot. Well, there is something. Look, I'd like to stay longer, but I can't. I uh, promised to introduce Jane the subject of a job, and uh, since that's done, without any help from me, I'm headed across town for a meeting that I can't miss. You're excused, especially if there's a column in it for me. Jane? I'll be fine. Thanks, Jack. You're welcome. <clears throat> All right. I suppose you sit down and tell me a little bit about yourself. Now, you said you worked through school. Yes, and about 23 different jobs. This is my portfolio. See? Tell me, have you had any career counseling? There didn't seem to be any point since I knew exactly what I wanted to do. Yeah, but they might have told you that shorter resumes are preferred. It's usually uh, one page is considered desirable at the most two. Oh. Thanks. I'll remember that for next time. Ah, seem to have a quite a wide range of experience here. Ah, waitress, shipping clerk, parking attendant, auto mechanic. I want to be a reporter. 
I want to write. I want to transmit news, facts, ideas, information. I've spent the last five and a half years training for this. Good for you. I see a lot of hotshot young J school grads coming in wanting to make a name, money. Good journalist needs to love good writing if anything else is going to happen. Can I give you some advice? Please. You're not going to like it. Go on. Enthusiasm is good. You need experience. Well, I worked for several years on the school paper. I know how valuable a training ground a good college paper can be, and I know that the students can take themselves as seriously as they would in a professional situation. But you need a couple of years in a much smaller town, a newspaper there, before you even try to start in New York. I realize that's good advice, and I'd follow it in a minute. If. Well, there's an insurmountable problem. I'm a big city person. It's even stronger since I moved to New York. It's like coming home. I realize all these years there's been a New Yorker inside me just screaming to be let out. I have to stay. Have to. Well, I want to. In my case, that means have to. <laughs> I can understand that sentiment more than anybody else. And I would like to help you very much. Truly, I would, but I can't. Let me show you something. Job application. From reporters working full-time for other papers, newscasters, road scholars, you have chosen a very competitive field. I'm good. You may be, or have the potential to be. Listen, if you are willing to spend a little bit of time outside the city learning your craft, I will place you with one of my other papers. You can stay there a year or two, get your experience, and then come to New York. What's the matter? I'm trying to figure out how to say no to that and sound grateful at the same time, but I can't leave the city. If I make it in New York, I know I'm among the best. It's as simple as that. And then th this, uh, there's a what? personal thing that my brother Barry wrote me after he'd first met the Ryans and said he had a real sense of family life for the first time in his life. After meeting Maeve, I know what he meant. I don't want to go away. If I can't be a reporter yet, is there anything that I could do? Now, only in theaters. Bounced his way! <laughs> their best friends lost. That's gotta be dangerous. And Pooh, Tigger, and all their pals are getting together. We're geniuses! To get him back. Sticky geniuses! This spring. No somersault! I tried to stop, but it's no use. It's big laughs. <laughs> big fun. And big adventure. Oh. Piglet's Big Movie, rated G. Now playing only in theaters. We could use a little help. Brilliant deduction there, Pooh boy. Watch same-day episodes of Port Charles, weekdays on SoapNet. Where is he, Joshua? Where's Caleb? He tried to destroy their love. I love you. Love me enough to come home. Now a new enemy emerges, and the real battle begins. No! Every 13 weeks, a story pays off. Now you're on my turf. Port Charles' desire. Tonight at 11, only on SoapNet. I've got diabetes. And I just call to get what I need delivered to my home. It's easy. With Diabetic Supply of America, I get all my supplies with no out-of-pocket costs. I don't have to stand in line at the pharmacy anymore to get my diabetic supplies. I save time and money. I love it. I don't have to worry about those confusing forms. I just call and talk to real people. I like the personalized service and the delivery right to my door. We carry brand name products. Ordering diabetic supplies couldn't be easier. Call us today to see if you qualify. How's your shorthand in typing? Oh, my typing's terrific. I know some shorthand. Mostly I use my own personal code, sort of a journalistic scrawl, you know. But as I said before, certain skills like that can really be a trap. I would be much happier if you could give me something that could lead into reporting. If you have anything like that? I'm sure you would. No, the job turnover that we have at the highest rate for young people is usually in the mail room or the reception desks. There are always openings. And I'd learn nothing new in either place. I've had those jobs before. Please, Miss Woodard, all I want is a chance to learn, to, to watch for opportunities and grab them when I see them. Opportunities for what? But to find stories, to go after them and write them and show them to you until I show you the one that impresses you so much, you're going to hire me as a reporter. You are very confident, aren't you? I'm more than that. I'm hungry. Haven't you ever known anyone like that before? Yes, I did. And I gave him his chance. And you regretted it? Intensely. You did it again, E.J. It's a family trait, not knowing when to quit. I know. 
please don't judge me by this other person. If you give me a chance, I promise you, I won't let you down. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can write or not, but you certainly do have a couple of characteristics that are essentialist for being a good journalist. First of all, you're single-minded, and secondly, you're tenacious. I'm also a lot of fun to be around. <laughs> that, that didn't come out the way I wanted to. I, what I mean to say is that I have a positive attitude. I'm willing to work long hours and any kind of weird schedule you've got. I'm flexible. Are you tired? No, not at all. Well, you've exhausted me. However, I just may happen to have an idea. What can I do for you, Mrs. Woodard? No, it's what I'm about to do for you, Schultzy. Jane, I'd like you to meet Marion Schultz, my secretary and very good friend. Schultzy, this is Elizabeth Jane Ryan, your early Christmas present. Christmas present? Yes. Schultzy, I've hired you an assistant. I'm very glad to meet you, Miss Schultz. Please call me Jane. Jane. I'm sorry, Schultzy. What was that you just said? I said, it's very generous of you to offer me an assistant, but I don't need one. I didn't doubt that for a minute. In fact, I depend on it. However, your assistant here very much needs you. Jane wants to learn the newspaper business, Schultzy. I can't think of a more capable teacher for her. Thank you. And thank you, too. I'll prove myself as a reporter, too. When do I get started? Well, how about right now? Great. I'll uh, show you where we'll be working. Mrs. Woodard, what have you done to me? I'm not altogether sure, Schultzy. But whatever it is, I have a hunch it'll be absolutely fascinating. Have you heard? There's a better way to mop. The old-fashioned way is messy, time-consuming, and you're spreading filthy water all over your floor. Well, not anymore. Presenting the Swiffer Wet Jet Power Mop with Jet Action Sprayer. It's the fun and easy way to get your floors unbeatably clean in half the time. The Wet Jet isn't just a mop. It's a mopping machine with advanced features that a lookalike doesn't have. Just slide in the cleaning solution and press on the mop pad. Then simply spray, mop, and toss. It's that easy. WetJet's advanced cleaning solution has a special ingredient that attracts dirt like a magnet. Use it for any mess on virtually any floor, from linoleum to finished wood. You want it quick and easy. This could do it. To be able to throw the pad away and forget about it, that's great. It's very easy just to move around. There's nothing complicated. The spray really shoots far. I could see my daughter having a lot of fun with this as well. I'll start swiffering instead of mopping. Don't be fooled by a look-alike. It doesn't have WetJet's advanced features, and we're going to prove it. Okay, you get the Swiffer WetJet, and you get this look-alike. Let's see how they stack up. WetJet has a wide, even jet action spray. The look-alike doesn't. WetJet's mop heads are thick and super absorbent, so they clean better than this look-alike's thin cloths. Watch! The WetJet pad absorbs three times more dirt and liquid, locking it deep inside. That's because only WetJet pads feature a super absorbent lock-away core, so your floors dry to a clean, brilliant shine with far less residue. Plus, WetJet pads have these unique cleaning cups that sweep up dirt and hair. WetJet saves you money, too. In fact, each pad cleans three times more floor. The Swiffer WetJet. Stop cleaning, start Swiffering. To get your Swiffer WetJet, go to a store near you and look for the purple box. During this exclusive offer, call the toll-free number and receive a $5 off certificate to purchase the Swiffer WetJet starter kit for only $19.99. There's no faster, easier way to get your floors unbeatably clean. Pick one up today. Did I hear you right? You tried to take the blame for what Joe did? Not all of it, of course, but I must Sweetheart, have done Joe something. Sweetheart, Joe lied to you. He lied to all of us. He wrecked Jack's career. His reputation. He destroyed his relationship with Rose. He made, it, he made it too dangerous for Jack to have his own daughter in the apartment with him. How can you possibly take the responsibility for any of that? Joe must have had some reason to be so jealous of Jack, and I may have contributed to that in That's some way. nonsense. Daddy, you're not listening to me. You're not hearing me, anyway. I need some time to figure all this out. And I'm very hurt, and I'm angry. And to make it better, I have to understand it. And to understand it, I have to figure out what 
park. I had it all of it. So please just leave me alone for a little while. Hello, Mr. Finelli. Hey, Doc. Hi. Terrific uh, little place you got here. Yeah. Welcome to the Roach Palace. Well, the uh, food smells good. Well, there's an extra roast beef uh, and a pastrami on a roll. Take your choice. And coffee. Oh, thank you. Joe Novak. Perry Wood. Buck Griffith. Have a seat, Mr. Novak. There's uh, sandwiches uh, and coffee. We understand uh, you've managed to get your wife out of danger. That's right. Mm -hmm. So you're ready to talk to us about several points of mutual interest? In exchange for certain assurances. Such as? I want immunity from prosecution. I want all the cover you can possibly give me. Mm, you don't waste time talking, do well, you? I don't have much time to waste. The sooner this is over, the happier I'll be. No, oh, we're with you there. Hmm? But uh, what are you going to give us in exchange for our protection? Hmm. There's a lot we want to know. Um, information is great, but evidence is better. What kind of evidence? The kind that will send Alexei Vartova to prison for a couple hundred years on tax evasion. The kind that gets people killed. It happens. What are my alternatives? I'm not so sure you have any. You want to protect your wife, right? My wife's safety comes before everything else. And the only way to ensure that is to get Vartova out of the picture for good. Cooperate with us, Vartova's out, Siobhan's safe. Wow. Sounds a little like Vartova. Threatening my wife to gain my cooperation. No, no threats, just facts. You're in a position to make your wife safe. We're in a position to make your life hell. If we have to investigate without your help. Mm. Too much federal attention on someone so close to Vartova. Someone who heads his drug operation might create a lot of pressure. Be very dangerous for you, dangerous for your family. I'm not running the drug operation. No, not yet, but you're beginning the process. They gave me no choice. Yeah, my wife picked up and stuffed into the trunk of a oh, car. How why did like... he come to you in the first place, huh? Why did he offer you his drug operation? He must have had some reason to believe you were vulnerable, willing to cooperate. I told you, he kidnapped my wife. Uh, we're not talking about your wife. Vartova wouldn't grab someone's wife at random. What turned his attention to you? You seem to forget. I'm Tiso Novotny's nephew. I must say, it's a first as far as the cops are concerned. Vartova and my uncle were friends. No. no. When Novotny died, you broke with the family. If you came back clean and stayed clean, Vartova would have ignored you. Why would he assume you were willing to involve yourself in criminal activities? I'm not talking anymore until I get that promise of immunity. My lawyer's out of town. I wouldn't even be talking to you if it weren't for the time. Problems. Now, if you guarantee me immunity, with Jack as my witness, I'll tell you everything you want to know. Jack? Yeah, Joey. I'll be your witness. Okay. You have our promise. If you cooperate, there'll be no charges brought against you. Fine. Bartova came to me because initially I had approached him. I have a small gambling operation in the Monte Carlo room. Go on. The promotional gimmick is just a front for an operation that accommodates a handful of high rollers each night. Before I could open, I had to go to Bartova and get his approval, since gambling is his territory. In return, I gave him a percentage of the take. I had planned to stop there. Yeah, but uh, Bartova had other plans. Yes. Favors. Obligations. Got out of hand. I'm sick of the whole business. I want out, all the way out. Make a break. Nice and clean, like I should have done a long time ago. Before I ever came back to New York. 
There's only one way to get out. Help us get the goods on Vartova. I'll do it. Ryan's Hope is next. Then it's the first of two general hospitals celebrating their 40th anniversary, followed by One Life to Live. SoapNet, the new way to watch soaps. SoapNet makes watching all my children easy. The Martins. Once upon a time, widow Ruth Brent married dedicated doctor Joe Martin to form Pine Valley's first family. They raised one daughter, Tara, a handsome son, Dr. Jake, and adopted a son named Tad, the biological child of the outrageous Opal Cortland, whose good friend, the enchanting Erica Kane, made husbands of both the Martins' other two sons, Jeff Martin and Bill Brent. Watch same-day episodes of All My Children only on SoapNet. Soap watching made easy. Center tonight at 11.30, only on SoapNet. In a world full of danger, the ultimate journey is about to begin. And there's just one man you can trust. Who, oh, me? Kevin Pollack? It's Movie Lovers Road Trip on the Travel Channel. Your inside guide to the locations behind all your favorite flicks. From Animal House to the sound of music. Join me for a look at the movies like you've never seen before. It's the premiere of Movie Lovers Road Trip, tomorrow night at 9, only on the Travel Channel. Where can you always count on a warm welcome? Faster drying times. Cozy fires. Precision cooking. And outdoor comfort? Only in propane country. Propane. Clean, efficient, exceptional energy. See how propane fits your home and your budget at usepropane.com. Blockbuster pay-per-view movies brings the biggest hits from Hollywood right into your living room. This month, order any of the newest hit movies for just $2.99 on Tuesdays. No matter which title you select from up to 60 pay-per-view choices, you get a dollar off the regular price if you order on any Tuesday in April. For complete listings, consult your on-screen guide starting at channel 100 or log on to our website. It's $2.99 Tuesday from Blockbuster Pay-Per-View Movies. Wait, I'm beginning to remember. SoapNet. Every day, a new twist. I'll make an appointment for you for tomorrow morning. With whom? With Dr. Pagano across the street. Why do I need a psychiatrist? Because you are my daughter, and in my humble opinion, you need mental help in the worst way. I'm still married to Joe. No matter what he's done, if I want to talk to him, it doesn't mean that I'm out of my mind. Siobhan, if you go upstairs with me this minute, I'll show you a rhyming dictionary you bought me and three drafts of a birthday poem to Joe you asked me to write. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but you asked me to write it because you love the man. Now, let me bring witnesses in here. I'll bring in your mother and Kevin, even Dee. And we'll ask them if, whenever I dare to, to criticize or object to your, your darling Joe in any way, you didn't blow your top and lay me out from here to Tipperary. What's the point, Daddy? The point is you love Joe totally, without reserve. You're willing to, to take on the whole world to defend him, right? But now... When it turns out that Joe is as, as vicious, as, as dangerous, as dishonest as we all said he was, what are you doing? You're, you're ready to run back to his arms and ask him how you turned him into a, such a, a rotten apple? I look at that kind of behavior, girl, and I say, oh, you need help. Thanks, Daddy. You're welcome. Not for your good advice, but for making it so difficult. No, impossible to communicate with. Uh, you're talking on this one. Go ahead. What more do you want? Honest support. A little understanding. Shades of gray nuance. Call it whatever you want to. 
I am trying to do a little honest self-examination and 